Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm talking about Samsung Galaxy S23. So let's begin. So in 2007, Steve Jobs introduced the first iPhone in the world, regardless of your feelings about Apple, the iPhone, or Steve Jobs himself. There is no denying that the history book will chronicle the evolution of the phone into two categories, pre-iPhone and post-iPhone. The device was a game changer and it's reinvented the entire mobile phone industry in the 15 years since mobile phone has been given bigger faster and more powerful aimed with features that even steve jobs did not anticipate but gone are the days where we got significant upgrade year over year being it design software or hardware today all convertible phones are slab of glass for the most part with a full screen display and three or four cameras at the back. If we keep the affordable technology aside, then smartphones today have packed on the design department. That brings me to the Galaxy S23 lineup. The question is now, will Samsung make the Galaxy S23 look pretty much like a last one, albeit with some incremental upgrades? Well, it seems like the scenario don't be much of a sketch. Ice Universe mentioned that both the S23 and S23 Plus will keep the same design as their predecessor. Samsung introduced the design with the Galaxy S21 back in 2021, so it will be three years in a row that they are going to use the same design. Apple has been notorious for reusing the same design for many years, so it seems Samsung is following footstep here. But like I have said, there is only so much you can do on a rectangular piece of slab, just like computer and cars. It is hard to change once something is done right. Smartphones today are precious that the S22 and S22 Plus like great already. So it is my opinion it does not a big deal that they are using the same design with some minor twisting. But the problem is they are using the same internal hardware as before. The screen, the batteries and the camera all will remain similar. I think Samsung should do a better job of differentiating the S22 and the Plus variant. Maybe include a telephone camera not as powerful as the S22 Ultra but a 5x megapixel. I think Samsung should do a better job of differentiating the S22 and the Plus variant. Maybe include a telephone camera not as powerful as the S22 Ultra but a 5x megapixel. Snapdragon S2 compared to the one on the S22 you can see over the past few years chipset have gotten so fast that you don't even notice the difference in speed and battery life years over years but that won't be the case next year you will actually feel a big difference this time and that because TSMC is manufacturing these chipset just take the S Fold 4 for example dispute offering a small battery it can outlast at the S22 Ultra in the battery life test so Samsung is hoping that user will upgrade for the chipset alone but how that translate into sale will remain to be seen with that said let me show your thoughts thanks for watching my video do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon thank you